All right, today I'm making a cheap and affordable worm bin that has unlimited food. Let me get a couple of buckets to make this. Now the first bucket I'm gonna use needs to have a bunch of holes in the bottom. That way moisture drains out of it. And right now, I've got a bunch of uh, these, um, I forgot what they're called, they're for aquariums. I've got them in my bait tank and these are just the ones that are just too much for the bait tank. I just have them stored here. Next, I need a bucket without holes in the bottom. And this is how simple this is. You put one bucket into the other. And now I have the start of a worm bin. Now I like using these firehouse buckets because supposedly when you buy them, the money is donated to firehouses. At least they don't get thrown away into the trash. Next I need a lid that is properly aerated. Now I thought I had leftover coconut core to put in here, but I don't have any. So I'm going to put newspapers as the bottom layer. Hopefully it will help keep the worms in place. Of course, the holes are so small on the bottom, they shouldn't get through them. Save the rest of these for later. Next, I'm gonna put some dirt in here. And now I'm gonna show you the unlimited food supply. I have a metric ton of leaf lettuce. This stuff grows so fast. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this as food for the worms and, of course, myself. Now, there is a small gardening lesson to learn here. This was a brand new pack of lettuce seeds. That was a brand new pack of lettuce seeds. Fancy. They grew really good. Back there was an old one, and it came up, but not as good as this. And then that patch was a whole pack of old seeds, and nothing came up. So I put a tomato plant there. Now I will use these as whole leaves to feed the worms, but before I do that, I'm going to take some and chop them up to make a nice chopped layer of lettuce on top of that dirt. All right, I grabbed some of the older lettuce because it's more bitter. I'm gonna put it in my little chopper here and make mush out of it. All right, here's my lettuce mush and I'm just putting it in there. I have to scrape it out a little bit. Now I'm doing this because I'm trying to fast forward the decomposition of the lettuce. The worms do like slightly decomposed vegetables. I'm sure there's plenty of other stuff in the soil that I put in here that they can eat too. Now I'm going to get a little bit of water and pour that in here. A little bit of water from my bait tank. Now to put worms in here. I got some leftover big reds to put in here for my last fishing trip. These are big red worms, also known as European night crawlers. As you can see here, they get pretty big. It makes really good fishing bait and they can live in cold weather or warm weather. So I really don't have to worry about keeping them like refrigerated. They will live and multiply in this bucket outside. And not only will these worms be good for fishing bait, I'll be using them to feed my bait in my bait tank that I've got out back. Now, I will do a video of the bait tank in the future, 
I'm not finished with it. Once I'm finished with it, I will do kind of an overview video just to show what I have going on. Right now it's got a bunch of blue kills and bullheads in it and some minnows, which will probably get ate by the bullheads and the bluegill. Now to top this off, I'm gonna use the rest of the lettuce that I picked. And there you have it. A cheap, affordable, easy to make worm bin. Maybe I could use this as the thumbnail. Now if you have any suggestions, any comments, or anything you want to say about this build, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. I'd also like to know, is lettuce good enough? I can grow that lettuce year round. So even in the middle of the winter time, I can keep these guys fed. All right, it's been a couple of weeks. Let's check on the worms. Got some more worms to add to this. And I have not checked this, so let's see if I can get it apart. I don't hear no water. Oh man. <laughs> of course, I can't get them apart. Whew, a lot of gnats. You can see the lettuce breaking down nicely in there. Let me get a shovel. I grabbed more lettuce while I was over there. And I'm not seeing any worms. That's not good. <laughs> I really didn't have that many to go in here. Oh, there's a worm. So they're still in here. At least a few of them. I probably need to put more lettuce in here and maybe a little bit of water. And more worms. These aren't bad. I'll probably grab a whole bunch more lettuce. Did uproot some, but that should be perfect. I'd say it's kind of a minor success. All right, I think this concludes this short video about making a worm bin out of some buckets. Cheap, easy, and unlimited food. As you saw, the lettuce is breaking down. It probably would have been a good idea to let some of the lettuce break down before you put worms in it. I'm quite sure a lot of the worms escaped because it's just not enough food in there. Now I did give you a quick glimpse of the bait tank behind me and I might do a video of that sometime in the future. If you want me to do a video on it, hit the thumbs up to show the Google algorithm that non-fishing videos like this are worth watching. I think I've said it before in the past, the Google algorithm wants me to catch catfish all the time and not really show anything else. Anyway, I wanna thank you for taking your time out of your day to actually watch this really short video. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you check out some of the other videos on my channel because I have a lot of fishing videos. I have bait tank videos. I have outboard videos. I have boat building videos. I've got a lot of information on my YouTube channel that might interest you. And if you like it enough, subscribe. Hopefully I'll still be able to catch some catfish this summer as the spawn begins. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time.